It seems like SpaceX is having a little trouble right now, as the Falcon 9 has been grounded for a second time over the span of two months. This time, instead of a problem with the second stage, the booster is what failed. Let's take a look at what happened. In the early hours of August 27th, SpaceX launched the Starlink 6-8 mission, which was a pretty standard mission profile for the Falcon 9, except for one thing. The booster, B-1062, was conducting its 23rd flight, a new record for reflights of Falcon. The flight uphill was very smooth, and the mission proceeded nominally until it came time for landing. The booster lit the engines to land on the recovery barge and touched down on the deck. At this point, we see things start to go wrong. A larger than usual fireball is emitted from the engines, and the booster begins to tip. It very quickly goes overboard, and the last thing we see is the upper stage tank section rupturing as it hits the water. Yikes. After this botched landing, a second planned Starlink launch that morning was scrubbed, and the FAA released a statement saying that an investigation would be required, as this was very clearly a deviation from Falcon 9's normal operations. While not directly stated, we can reasonably assume that Falcon will not be permitted to fly until SpaceX can say with certainty that whatever caused the landing failure will not impact parts of the ascent where people could get hurt. This comes just a little over a month after a Falcon 9 upper stage failed to relight, tarnishing Falcon's nearly flawless reliability record. Funny enough, on that flight the booster nailed the landing. And after that incident, it took SpaceX around two weeks to return to flight. I'd expect them to resume launches faster than that, as in this case the main mission was not compromised, only the stage recovery was. Now, let's jump back to the landing footage and see if we can figure out what was going on. First off, if we take a look at the landing speed, we can see it was a slightly spicy 7 kilometers per hour. Generally, Falcons are somewhere closer to 1 or 2 kilometers per hour when they hit the deck. In this case, it seems the booster landed so hard that the springiness of the landing legs was not enough to stop the engines from slamming into the deck. Right as that was happening, we can see a sudden shock in the back right leg, and the whole booster begins to tip as the presumably damaged engines release a large fireball. If we zoom in on that back leg, it looks like the whole hydraulic cylinder comes detached from the leg, since we can see the base visibly swinging when it should be fixed in place. So it would seem the leg just got overstressed by the high speed landing. What exactly caused it to come down that hard is unclear, and there's enough possibilities as to what could have caused that that I won't speculate on it. So until SpaceX releases some more details, that's all I've got for you. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.